Area code. My area code. My area code. My area code. You are watching area codes. It's easy, baby. For your area code, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Bring it in for your area code. It's a beautiful day and I welcome you all to the unprecedented reality TV show here in Ghana. It is the season three of my area code reality TV show. The question we are all asking is, which community will emerge my area code season three champion? The choice is yours to make. Today's episode will feature segments like the up close and the diaries of the contestant. We have awesome panel here that will be discussing the contestant. We are going for a short commercial break, but before we do that, this program is proudly brought to you by Special Energy and Special Mode, not forgetting best point savings alone. This program is proudly supported by Decap Hotel and Point Homeopathic Clinic, Alior in the City Spa, Exopar Modeling Agency, Topman Multimedia Institute, and Rudy Ware. When I'm down and I need something to chew me out, well, it's an exclusive drink, vanilla flavored and so refreshing. Special Mod. Special Mod. Guess what? Special Mod makes me feel okay. Special Mod. If you knew in the system, you could drink and see. Special Mod. Special Mod makes me feel okay. Special Mod. So clean and smooth. Oh, yeah, enjoy yourself. Special Mod. Special Mod makes me feel okay. Special Mod. Guess what? Special Mod. Special Mods feel special. The beat the beat be yeah yeah. I'm a when you are jipper. Best point saving salon. The beat the beat be yeah yeah. For your reliability, trustworthy, efficiency, and convenient banking services, Best Point Savings and Loan is the best choice. Grow your business with us today as we offer you Western Union, Vigo Money Transfer, ATM, SMS Banking, SMS Alert, MTN Mobile Money, Tigo Cash, Airtel Money, Salary Loans for all government and private workers, SME Loans, Church Loans, and Auto Loans. Savings account, current account, fixed deposit, Sikedria, Kate Savings account, and Susu. Best point savings and loan. Best point savings and loan. Best point savings and loan. Your dreams, our business. Best point savings and loan. Debi Debi Obey Ye. You're still watching my area code reality TV show. The only reality TV show that seeks to give back to the community positively and also help the contestants to develop their talent and potential. On this segment, we are getting up close with the contestant. They're going to tell us the tension going on, what's going on in their community, and some of the things that has been going on among them. So let's start with the handsome Spade Day Day. How are you doing? I'm doing good. All right. So let me go back to you. What was the first impression you had about this handsome gentleman the first time you saw him? Uh, the boy looks gay. I okay. He's gay. Emerald, what do you think about him? Is he a gay? Is he a gay? Ama, what do you think about him? The same question. All right. Spade Day Day, yes. are you gay? No, I'm not gay. Okay. But would you accept or would you say that you behave a little girlish? Oh, yes. That's not a secret, it's the obvious. Okay. I know about that, okay. but that doesn't make me gay. Okay, so, um, Nima, do you have a, a question to ask him? Do you have a girlfriend? No. Okay. So it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> so you think with the fact that he doesn't have a girlfriend, that makes him gay? Yeah. Alright, so what is your project? My project is Operation Stop the Flooding. Operation Stop the Flooding? Yes. Alright, tell us more about it. The attitude of the people in my community, that is Kasawa, mm. is what is making our place get flooded. Okay, so you're talking about place. flooding your community. Yes. All right. I've seen you to be a very quiet personality. How many of you noticed that as well? All right. So why are you quiet? That's just, I'm not that quiet okay. like you guys see. You know, I'm just observing things when I come in. All right. Come in so on the scale of one to 10, how would you rate Sona? Six, six. Why would you rate him six? 
Well, um, I've not seen much of him yet. Okay. But so far, what I've seen. So now, great. who is a threat to you here? Nobody. Apart from you, who do you think will win this competition? This guy. This guy. Is it because he's sitting beside you? No, we have this thing. Sunny BT. Pubo again. Pubo double. Pubo. Pubo. <laughs> what is that? The connection between that someone and Mumpo. Okay, yeah. between dancing man and man, yeah, but we are not friendly though. You're not friendly. <laughs> We're just a connection. <laughs> okay, all right. So talking about your talent, who is a dancehall artist here? Definitely. Okay, Lucian, you are a dancehall artist. Straight, straight. Do us something later. And this is a serious time. Pick up my battery fully charged. No fear, nothing coming up. Ah, Lucian said his battery is fully charged. <laughs> really? So tell us about Gamashi. Gamashi is a little place to be. When you say wicked, where wicked means? Wicked, like interesting place. Okay. Yeah, because we get we get the tourist attraction, the wicked tourist attraction. Okay. All right. So would you say that the people of Gamashi are not treating your the beaches very well? Yeah, it's true. Okay. So who else seconds that part, that yeah. motion? All right. So what would you have to? What would you want to add in? So gonna why wouldn't you come stop it? Yeah, that's what here. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. why. That's why I'm into the competition of okay. my area code. All right. So um, Ama. What do you think about Emerald's personality? Um, I see Emerald to be one cool girl, very isolated. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not saying anything against her because I think we just started a competition and then maybe there's more to come up from okay. her. I overheard someone saying that Emerald doesn't speak good English. Is it true? Sunday. <laughs> I, I didn't say, I overheard someone saying, I don't know how true that is. Is it true? <sighs> You can ask no. Him. no, I want to ask someone. I can ask her, but I want to ask someone. I think, I think Emerald has expressed herself in a very cool way, or in a way she understands it much better. Okay, that's how she expresses. Emerald, herself. tell us who you are. Is it true that you don't speak good English? Is it true that you're a very quiet person? Okay, I um. Why you can't talk? Oh, <laughs> I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you speechless? What's up? What they are saying? Okay, I can speak good English, mm -hmm. and I am not isolated. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be myself. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So if you just tune in, this is my area code. We are just getting up close with the contestants. They are telling us our feeling. Who has a particular question to ask someone here? Like you really want to get something very clear here? All right, Ama. Ma, um, Abigail, the question goes to Abigail. Why, why are you overhyped? Like, because I believe in myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <coughs> I believe in yourself. Okay, yes. Nima, you have something to say. What do you mm -hmm. want to say? Empty balance makes the most noise. Wow. <laughs> you haven't spoken. Sorry. What would you want to say? I just want to be on La Ellie. Okay. Because they keep on boasting. About? Season one, season two. And now he's here. The kind of way he's dressed. Doesn't seem to be this kind of. All right, so let's talk about your hairstyle. What inspired yeah. this particular hairstyle? You know, my name is Sloopy Thousand Legs. Your name is Sloopy Thousand Legs. <laughs> Sloopy Thousand Legs. <laughs> I see the thousand star, thousand legs. Okay, so what motivated this hairstyle? You know, the hairstyle is talking about me, speaking well about me. You know, okay. saying I have a thousand styles, I'm versatile. Mm -hmm. See, when I stand up right now, I think you cannot stand on your feet. Wilson, right? Yeah. All right. Mom Probi. Sure. Tell us something about Manprobi. Oh, Manprobi is a town, it's a gun dominated town in the Accra Metropolitan District of Accra. Okay, and what? And we are that cool of human, like we are that cool people. Okay. If someone is watching and the person wants to come to Manprobi, give me two places that the person should visit in Manprobi. Okay, the Manprobi Polyclinic, the Manprobi Post Office, Tuesday okay. Market, I can mention. Okay, sure. Nima, tell us the place you want us to visit when we come to Nima. Oh, come to Paloma. Paloma, yeah. and then what else? Paloma and um... Paloma, you can't... You don't have a talk, you can't say... Uh, <laughs> okay, Emma, 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 when I come to Osu, yeah. where would you want me to go to? Okay, the castle and the Asumjue Park. And the Asumjue Park. Park. Yes. Lucien, when I come to you, where do you want me to go to? Come to Kamashi, come see the James Town. But then the lighthouse come for your eye. The okay. So Karima, you were talking about the Nima market yeah. and the fact that the Nima market is an international market. Yeah. How many of you believe here that the Nima market is not an international market? 
Okay. Number one. Why do you think it's not an international market? Because it's never and it's never any. It will never, never be an international market. Okay. You okay. can't say it will never be an international market. No. Never okay, wait, wait. On which Compare. basis, please wait. On which basis would you say Ghana, that? Ghana, Ghana is still developing. Okay. So you can't say Nima market can't be an international market. And, 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 also, and also, the, the reason why they are saying Nima market is not an international market is that I think they don't research. Really? Yeah, they okay, don't research. Okay, so I think it's up to our viewers to go to Google yeah. now. Google, if Nima market is really an international market you can follow us on our social media platform my area code reality tv show on instagram and facebook if you find out that nima market is indeed an international market so i hope you're all enjoying yourself yeah. and you have to bring out your best each and every week this program is the only reality tv show that kills two birds with one stone we're giving you the platform to give back to your society or your community positively and also develop your talent. Before we sign out on this segment, I will, who's a musician here? Man. Okay, I think I've heard some of you speak, mm -hmm. sing. Let's hear the gentleman give us his freestyle. All right. I me get the vim like the Rory Lion. Me do your top in a real ocean boot. Well, me a speed, me dribble you like the Messi. Me score the goal, Ronaldo. Okay. Like to do. Okay, okay, he's scoring the goal like Ronaldo. You're still watching my area called Reality TV Show. There are more segments to come, so just sit, relax, and enjoy. Welcome back from the break. If you just tune in, you're watching at my area called Reality TV Show. So we have the panel to the scars digest and bisected the contestant so first and foremost we have reverend bernard i have whitney and then mr ernest frimpon how are you doing today all right so let me start from bernard you were here during the audition you are here now seeing the contestants comparing them there and them now which would you have to say um some weeks back you know they were looking promising okay you know, during the audition they were good. Not mm -hmm. all of them, okay. a few, but seeing them and then seeing them today, I think there, there, there has been an improvement. So the grooming and everything has worked on them? Yes, it's right. working. So looking at them today, who has been, I wouldn't say your favorite contestant though, but looking at them, who has a personality that you would remember? Even if you go home and they ask you, where have you been? Who is that one person that you think that has been on your mind? Well. Caswas uh, rep, Spade Day. Please mention the name well. Spade Day. Day. Spade Day. Day. <laughs> okay. Spade you know, Day you have Day. to mention his name with so much attitude. His name is Spade Day. Day. So please, when you want to mention his name, you mention his name well. So what is about Spade Day, Day that you like? I like how confident he is. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's doing what he loves mm -hmm. and he's going against all odds mm -hmm. to prove that. And I like that about him. And I think. His project that he wants to do is very promising, okay. so I think he's All right, so Mr. Ernest Frimpon, what do you think about the Spade Tay Tay? <laughs> okay, uh, Spade Zay Zay or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Spade Tay Tay. Spade, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's continue. It looks so, I mean, weird to me. Why? Yeah, from the first time I saw him, I was like, he was, he was auditioned, but that is where he is, and his bold and his confidence to stand yes. by his personality, and that's okay, okay. for him. You are a reverend father, okay? Reverend minister. A reverend minister, <laughs> okay. Is it possible for a guy his age not to be gay and never dated a girl before? Yes. It is possible? Yeah, it is possible. It is possible. It okay. Is possible. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but looking at um, how he—I mean, he looks. I mean, uh, if you're not careful, okay, mm -hmm. and let's be careful here. Okay. Before. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the, the first, before we become careful, we are going for a special drink break. So make sure you grab a special drink. We'll yes. be right back after the break. Also speak, you can follow us on our social media platform. My area called Reality TV Show on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and tell us what you think, and we will read it right on the show. So let's go back to you and let's be careful of what we say. So now be careful. <laughs> yes, the reason why I'm saying we have to be careful, you see, you cannot just look at somebody mm -hmm. and 
preach at him. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. yes. He looks like a gay. But you can't say it because you don't have any proof. You don't have any evidence. But where evidence look, means? Anything yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So okay. uh, uh, I believe we have to be careful because you cannot look at someone and say okay. he looks like a criminal. But I think he's a very intelligent guy. Yeah, he is. He, 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 is. he talks as if he knows what he's talking about. He has a personality that if you see him and talk to him, you always want to talk to him again. So let's move to Whitney. Whitney, who is that female contestant in the house that you think has a prospect? Abigail, Abigail, what about Abigail? Um, I think that she knows what she wants to do. Don't you think she's a bully? A bit. Okay. Oh, I meant to that. Mm -hmm. She's a bit of a bully, but she knows what she wants. So she's doing things that will help her get what she wants. Okay. And that's what but she also said that <clears throat> she does that to intimidate others. Yes. But why, why would you do something to, why, why would a personality do something to intimidate another, Mr. Franco? Yeah, this reality show is a game okay. and you need to know your strategy and how to go about it and I think that's a strategy to intimidate the other contestants and that will work for her. Then would you say intimidation is part of the game? Yeah, it is, it is, yes. it is. You see, where there's competition, you have to come up with a strategy. Okay. Would you say the guy from Nima is also a bully? You see, <laughs> everything but about him, the way he <laughs> react to He's so aggressive. aggressive. You know, they were actually sitting in the couch and he wanted everyone to, like the that, guys. You see that Nima <laughs> life star. You know, when you mention of Nima, what comes in mind? Wow, it's the people yes. of Nima. I think your magic is working here. Bullying people and all that. I think it's working here. All right, Whitney, talking about um, fairy tale, what do you think about his personality? Well, I think he has a very good balance of almost everything, brand wise, expression wise, and I think his project that he wants to embark on is also very good. Okay. Yes. I feel that 6'4 is either he has a fake personality. Or, I don't know, that's what I think. What do you think, uh, Mr. Fairphone? Okay, uh, he's trying to, I mean, be cool with the, with the show, trying to lay back to observe others and their weaknesses and strengths. But he saw the others too are picking up on him. Well, that's, that's more reason why I said he has a fake personality. Because um, this guy is his friend, um, Spay. And Spay said, this is not who he is. So, why would you pretend on a, a reality show? But who, who is he deceiving? Himself. Exactly. Yes. And, and, and he shouldn't forget. People are watching. Okay. People are going to vote. Okay. So if people don't have confidence in you, how right. can they vote for you? Talking about confidence, let's speak about the lady Emerald. <laughs> beautiful name. I, it's, it's a very beautiful name for a beautiful girl. But she lacks confident. You know, someone was just telling her that she can't speak good English and she was almost crying. Yeah. She should learn from Abigail. Abigail is the bullish strategist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. And in, in such competition, you see, you need to be outspoken. So you cannot be somebody just intimidates you with uh, you yeah, cannot speak English and then you start crying. So if on your project, people start criticizing you. This is not a good project. You cannot be. Then you I die. Feel, I feel there are some people who are naturally soft, and I think that's who she is. Because someone just tells you that you don't speak good English and you start crying. But looking at where she's coming from, being Osu, you know, Osu girls are very hard girls. Yeah, but this is a project whereby you need to talk <laughs> because you want to change an attitude uh -huh. from the community, Whoa. from bad attitude to, to a attitude. good one. All right. So, people in Osu, you need to tell Emerald that she really needs to back up because this is a competition. And if you want to cry at everything that anybody tells you, you go home very early. Talking about Sona from DC, his project, he's buying a lot of bulbs. <laughs> Fixing all the bulbs in DC. Yeah. What do you have to say about that, Mr. Ernest Frimpon? All right, Sona, uh, from uh, his personality, I see a bit of Samini in his looks. Okay. But he said that he's not being motivated by Samini <laughs> at all. Yeah. So, but uh, I said that his project, um, Fixing Street Lights, that's going to cost a bit, a bit of money, but I hope you can do something about it. Do you think his project is sustainable? 
No. No. Why, why, mean, why would you say it's not sustainable? No. What is street light? Street, street, street lights light are very important. It's important. If you're driving but, and there are no street lights. But Dansoma is not a village. <laughs> it's a city. So drive, I mean, round and see all the houses. Really? On top of their wall. They have this okay, so security okay, lights. So you there, think so. that Gamashi needs that more? Um, Lucia, you think Gamashi needs to actually fix street lights in this community? I think it's Nima Raga. <laughs> yes. Nima Raga. Nima needs it. Okay, so people of Nima, they are saying that you need street lights. So let's talk about Lucia and Gamashi. Yeah. Well, I have a bit of a problem with his brand. Okay. But I think we need time to study him a bit. What do you have with his brand? What is about his brand that you think you don't get any clear? Well, he says he's a dancehall artist, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but for a viewer, at home if you want to follow a leader i think the image that you present is very important okay but right now i think he will need to earn the trust of the viewers right. so talking about brandon yes la the guy with the <laughs> <laughs> head of medusa yeah. that is what he said what do you think about his brand well i'm not in support of it okay but he seems like a really cool guy and he needs time to like discover build his confidence and everything i think he has more in store for us okay so talking about training. people having more in store i know that you want to talk so let's go for just this quick one we're going to listen to the diaries and um, we're going to watch the diaries of the contestants they're going to tell us what is actually going on with themselves and what is going on with other contestants so viewers stick and stay let's go watch their diaries and so if i would like to come to nima give me a place that will convince me a place that will drag me to come and see your community and then he has the guts to call me gay. Really? The guy is gay. Whether you like it or not, he's gay. Spezeze is gay. He is gay. Bam. And Spezeze, my first time meeting this guy, I, I, I was like, ah, this guy, what's up? Is he a gay or something? Then I said, oh, it's a free world. So if he, he is or he's not, it's none of my business. Just because I don't have a girlfriend. Is it every man that has a girlfriend? And listen to me, I am not gay. The fact that I'm feminine doesn't make me gay, okay? How could you see someone and judge the person in a way, say the person is gay? And then Emerald too. You see, you to me in camera for now, So, doesn't mean you can't speak English. I just want to tell you guys, I will surprise everyone. I see her to be so like overconfident. She feels she's the only, she's the only person who is most special in the competition. Yeah, that's me, the most hyped girl out there. Everybody's saying I'm hyped, but it's not really that way. The tennis, if you can't beat them, you join them. My problem is with uh, Gamashi. Tell you what, that guy is just out of this competition. I want him out. I can do that, but anyways, I don't think he, he should be in this competition. How can Manuel say my dress code doesn't fit this competition? My dress code is not coming to do the competition for me. I mean, that doesn't make sense at all. My area code reality show. It hasn't been so good. It hasn't been so bad. But I would say the Lord has been good to me. A friend persuaded me into getting into this competition. And then she did her best by letting me know every bit of the information that I need. Everything the whole competition is all about. And then I also decided to take part. From the auditioning, it wasn't too bad for me because I was a bit confident and so I would say it was smooth. The luncheon was fun. We had so much to drink. The fun was there. We had people knowing what the whole thing is about. I would say that day was spectacular. Then we moved to our photo shoot. Our photo shoot was nice. That was what got me really involved and committed into this competition because there was this group I wasn't part of, a WhatsApp group which they used one of my pictures as their group icon. It gave me that confidence that the world wants to see what is in me. It gave me the confidence that it's about time I pour out myself onto Kaswa and onto the nation. So indeed, I am a proud representative of Kaswa. Kaswa is a town located along Accra to Cape Coast Road. It's about 36 kilometers from the Kotoka International Airport. People of Kaswa, Central University, 
people of Ashtown, New Market. It's me, Spade Day. I'm not a stranger to you. You know my capabilities. You need to keep me in this competition to be able to accomplish this project. And I'm going to feed you with so many makeup skills that will make you a pro without attending any school. It doesn't end there. I'm going to entertain you with beautiful dance moves. You know what I can do. And so keep me in the house by texting MAC. Leave a space that you continue with SPAY. S P E Y to the short code 1446 to all networks. The auditions, it was so cool and rough. I remember when uh, I got to, to, to the audition room, I thought it was all about my talent. I'm going to boss up the place real quick, Martin. And all of a sudden, I was asked to, um, what is my project? I was like, wow, project? I didn't know. So my mind and thoughts have to run very faster. So I have to just frame something up for them to buy it. So when I bought it and I was home, and one fine morning I was called and there was this gentleman who called me and I was like, congratulations and you've been selected. And I was, I was so cool about it. I was like, okay, okay. So as soon as the call hung up, and I was like, yes. And my friend was like, ah, why? And I was like, yo, I'm about to be a star, you know? So fast forward to the luncheon. It was so cool, like everything was set. We've been to rehearsals, photo shoots, commercials and everything. And now it's the day. And the one thing I remember I noticed was when it, uh, at, at the luncheon place, and there was this dude, Banan guy who messed up. So he came, he was coming and I was asking like, yo Charlie, what's up? Was, he didn't mind me and I was like, ah, this guy, bah. And I was like, yo, DC, we, we know the fear in the thing. So as soon as I got into the place you now and I started hearing them healing me, so now, so now. And I was like, yeah, wicked. And I delivered, mad. Okay, my project. You know, Dance Man, it's 100% place that everything is okay. But to make it more perfect, I like to bring this project, calling the Street Light Project. Not that we are totally blacked out or something. But I want people to feel more safe. There are these particular places that you have um, some of the bulbs dead. And I want to take it upon myself to refix those bulbs. I know it's a big tax and challenge, but you know, with God, everything is perfect. You vote for me by texting MAC and you leave a space to 1446. Straight up. Mad. Uber. Um, I went for the audition for my area code reality show. I was called that I've qualified from there. We went for um, to have a photo shoot. From the photo shoot, there was a lunch and it was awesome. It was something so interesting. And then from there, we went for our commercials. The commercial went on. My first time seeing the commercials on TV, it was so fun. Like, friend had friends calling me. Um, I've seen your photo. I've seen your commercial on TV. It was a good feeling. It was a good feeling. And okay, to come to my project, I'm here to um, talk about education, education in general. But I'm going to the aspect of um, shopping. Mathematics. I'm, to, um, I'm going to the aspect of solving mathematics in our basic schools. Somebody will ask why she chose that aspect. I have realized in most uh, most of our schools in Ghana, we have students who are so scared of mathematics. So I would encourage students to um, focus and then have the love for mathematics as well. Okay, my name is Ama, I'm representing Matahiko and I would want you to keep voting for me in this context. You vote M-A-C, that is Mark Space Ama, A-M-A, to the short code 1446. Keep me in the competition and then you get to hear more of me. Thank you. Charlie, nko nya ke kenoku e oba na twen aye su nlenche femini e bless bo it hasn't been easy with me in this competition the way i heard about the competition and everything is like a miracle well i woke up one dawn and had a text message from a friend about this show i registered and now here i am i've been picked so as i came we went for photo shoot and all those things and I was a bit tensed like I'm here now 
a bit things i'm not that talkative type but i'm trying to cope with it um i'm representing banana in in this year's season and banana in is located at the west coast of the greater accra region it is precisely between Dansuman to the west and Mamprobi to the east. Um, the population could be about 5,000 people, of which majority are Ewers. The occupation, I would say, is petty trading among the women, and then um, most of the men, they are artisans, as in welders, carpenters, among others. As a musician, an upcoming musician, I seek to motivate and to shape the mindset of my people, I mean Banana in the youth, to shape their minds so we can try for better things in my community. A representative of Banana in I seek your vote. Vote for me to win this competition. Vote MAC. Then you leave a space to six for 1446. Your viewers, I want you to vote for me to stay in this competition you know there's fireness in me i'm from la so i want to show you the fire that is in la and prove you that i have talent in me so please if you want me to stay in this competition please vote for me votes one for max lopi one four four six i'm here to raise talent in my hood and i'm pleading with you for you to vote for me by sending my name to mcferrito one four four six Please vote for me by sending my name to McFerryTail1446 for me to be able to help those in my community. I mean the talented ones and to put them up there. Please kindly vote for me. Thank you very much. Hello, vote Mac Manuel to the short code 1446 to keep me in this competition and to make the competition very interesting. Well, I'm fighting for drag, so if you really want to help stop drag in my community and Ghana, I will keep the vote coming. God bless you. Okay, on that note, please don't forget to vote me in the competition by sending MAC space KARTAM, K-A-R-T-A-M, to the short code 1446 on all networks. Thank you. It's your boy KARTAM. I want you to vote for me to be in the competition. Vote for MROUD, M-A-C space E-M-E-R-A-L-D to 1446. I just want to tell you guys, I will surprise everyone. But like seriously, she only asked of noticeable buildings and not tourist site. So I said Mamprobi Polyclinic. It's a noticeable building and I didn't say tourist site. So keep me in this competition by voting MAC space W I L S O N Wilson to the short code 1446 to all network. God bless you. They kind of scared, that's why they're saying, but all the same, I'll just plead with you to vote for me. M A C space A B I G A R L. Abigail, keep the vote coming, it will keep the whole thing real and fun. So, like, seriously, Spade gave me four over ten. <laughs> they don't really know what I'm made of, yeah? So, I'm just gonna put them in a big surprise, okay? So, fans, you keep the vote coming in, vote M A C space L U T I O N. To 1446, Gamashi represented. Wicked. Tell you what. Anyways, please keep the vote coming. It's your boy. I can do a lot. This is why MAC gives space uh, DAVIs to the short code 1446. I have a lot for you guys. Bless up. Welcome back from the diaries. I hope you've really enjoyed yourself. You've had it all. If you have questions to ask, you can ask it. You can go to our social media platform, my Eric Reality TV show on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you want to keep your favorite contestants in the house, don't forget to text MAC Leave a Space, the contestants' name to the short code 1446 across all network. So back to our panel of judges. Let's talk about Lucian, or let's talk about um, the guy from Nima. Kata. Kata, yes. What do you have to say about that guy? He's a bully. He's a bully. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, can, you, you, you cannot be a resident of Nima in the gentle. Yes. Of course, there are. All right, so I can, I can say from what you're saying that everybody living in Nima is a bully. Ooh. 
Yes, you see, me to get that Takashi life. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's part of the <laughs> their DNA. Their society, their community. <laughs> so, if you're from Nima and yeah, there are decent people. Okay. Trust me, yeah. there are decent people. But nobody can, I mean, uh, take that part. Intimidate you just like okay. that. Okay. Of course, okay. yeah. So let's so, talk about the guy from Mampuri. What is what's about? Yeah, him? Wilson. Yeah. Wilson. Yeah, he's not talking. Yeah. And. Uh, this gentleman from Medina, mm -hmm. Davis. They are not talking, so I wonder what they are doing here. But could it be a strategy? You know, sometimes everyone has a game. You know, I actually, I can't live by plan. People really have a plan <laughs> yeah. as to what they do and how they do what they do. No, this is a race. Okay. If you don't get a good start, I mean, nobody will follow you. I think they should ask the same boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they should ask the same boat when it comes no, no, to sir, race. This, yeah. um, this funny, the, this gentleman, the funny name, I mean, uh, Spider Eater. Exactly. You'll know, you be. You, you got be, the name right this time around. You know, he'll yes. be a delight to watch. Yeah, exactly. Everybody would love to see him. Yeah. Want to see him talking, doing everything. Because, you know, he's still in the show, if okay. I would say. Okay. He's too early, though, but, I mean, he's delight to watch. Yes. So I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, coming back to Wilson, uh, the guy from Mampubi, yes, yes. when he has a, 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 a touch of stardom in him, and okay. I think with time that will show. Okay, so talking about stardom, let's cheers to my area called reality TV show. Okay. Let's cheer to success. Let's let's cheer to Space Day. <laughs> let's cheer to Emerald. Emerald would become a very confident lady. Yeah. So viewers, as you can see, we're enjoying ourselves. This is a special range of drinks. We are going for a special drink break. So make sure you grab a special drink. We'll be right back after the break. When I'm down and I need something to chew me out Well, it's an exclusive drink, vanilla flavored and so refreshing Special Mott Special Mott Guess what? Special Mott makes me feel okay Special Mott If you knew in the system, you could drink and see Special Mott Special Mott makes me feel okay Special Mott So clean and smooth Special mods, special mods, make me feel okay. Special mods, guess what? Special mods, make me feel okay. Special mods, if you knew in the system, you could drink and see. Special mods, special mods, feel special. The beat, the beat, the beat, point saving salon. Your reliability, trustworthy, efficiency, and convenient banking services, Best Point Savings and Loan is the best choice. Grow your business with us today as we offer you Western Union, Vigo Money Transfer, ATM, SMS Banking, SMS Alert, MTN Mobile Money, Tigo Cash, Airtel Money, Salary Loans for All Government and Private Workers, SME Loans, Church Loans, and Auto Loans. Savings account, current account, fixed deposit, Sikedria, Kate Savings account, and Susu. Best Point Savings and Loans. Best Point Savings and Loans. Loan. Loan. Your dreams, our business. Best Point Savings and Loans. Debi Debi Obey Ye. Welcome back from the break. If you're just tuning in, you're watching my area called Reality TV show, and I'm still with my panel discussing the contestant. You know, we've been around for three years. This is our third season, and we've seen contestants transforming people who are very timid go in the competition and actually emerge winners. And the people who we think they are very confident, actually, as the show goes on, they decline. That's life. <laughs> that is a competition. Okay. So talking about the talent of the contestants, what would you have to say? Because um, the guy from Madina said he's an actor and he only acts according to scripts. Would you call him a good actor? No. I think he still needs time, but good actors learn to improvise. Okay. So if you don't know improvision, I'm not sure I can call you a good actor. Talking about what's no, his talent. Name, I believe uh, something you do often even when they wake you up from your bed, you, you should, should be able, able to, to do it. Do it. Yeah, that's that's you should, because yeah, okay. if you're a professional footballer, even if you don't train for a month, you can still kick a football. Okay, so, exactly. I mean, this is what exactly. I'm so, is very All right. Yeah. So, talking about Wilson, um, what do you think about his talent, his music talent? I mean, that guy is good. 
good thing. Yes, if I want to use the item, he's a gem. Hey! I know him, I know him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's very good. Okay. But the shy type. Okay. But when you get on stage, right. he will explode. Talking about the dance artist, <laughs> who, 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 who is your jam? Of course, I'll go for Nima. Kata. You know, it looks like you have so much confidence in that guy. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, I have so much He has so much confidence in the people of Nima. So, yeah. Nima, it looks like you've been bribing him. Are you sure no one has given you anything from Nima? Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, oh, you're from Nima. He's from Nima. Yeah. Hey, really? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. So, viewers, still on the recharged uh, season of the unprecedented reality TV show in Ghana. This year, we are bringing it in a bigger and a better way just to entertain you. Every week there will be a talent show and with the talent show the contestant will be obliged to learn another talent which is aside what they do so for instance I'm a musician and this week's talent is acting I would have to learn how to act and at the end of the day we all go home learning from what we have learned here and another thing is with the developmental project every week there will be a developmental task it could either be sanitation it could be charity and this is to foster unity among them because they will be divided into groups the question I am asking and I know you're also asking is who is competent enough to become my area code season 3 champion the choice is yours to make so pick up your phone just go to the text messages and text MAC and that favorite contestant you love's name to the short code 1446 but remember when you text MAC you leave a space you text the name and you send it to the short code 1446 across all network you can also get into interactive with us on our social media platform my area code reality tv show on facebook my area code reality tv show on instagram my name is ganyo b achawasaki see you same time next week and for myself and my beautiful panel we say au revoir listen now on the mix I'm